penultimate round of the season is the famous Rally Catalunya, another tarmac event taking place the week directly following Corsica. So, a busy fortnight ahead for the teams and drivers alike. However, it's all changed for the 41st running of this event. A move to Salou on the Costa Dorada to the south of Barcelona sees a new base for the rally and a completely new route. But those with good memories may have an advantage as some of the stages were used as recently as 2002. The stages, what I know from 95, for example, they are, uh, I think, mostly in opposite direction, but yeah. I have an idea uh, how appreciated it is Tarragona area. It has been always a, a key point for tyres. Uh, you have to watch out because it's an uh, appreciated tarmac. The thing that we've always had on uh, Catalina is sort of two distinct different asphalt surfaces which have made it very difficult for tyre choice, etc. Uh, but I believe the feedback we're getting this year, at least it's all in a similar area, so the asphalt's very similar. What we saw in testing road were well, like the uh, circuits and uh, Absolutely no no bumps, uh, very flat and uh, and fast with uh, some lines to take. It was uh, it was completely different. Uh, I felt like in in Le Mans. The rally Catalonia has its own unique conditions compared to the other tarmac events, so expect different tactics and a different plan of attack on the stages. There isn't a bump anything that you've got to sort of cope with in Corsica, so you tend to concentrate more on getting the car as low as possible to give you the best possible performance. It's a wide road, so more uh, circuit driving and with good lines and so, and a lot of cutting. You have to cut the corners and on the gravel, and it's coming a lot of gravel up on the on the, on the top of the asphalt. So. It's uh, quite dirty rather than... Nowadays uh, the drivers have been ever slightly trying to be neat and uh, on the corners and they try to do that. The tarmac is uh, more aggressive than in, in the north than in the red and uh, the tire wear is harder, normally harder, but it should be okay. You have to follow the line, if you go offline it's, it's gone, you go massively sideways and you go off. So you just have to attack into them and try to stay in them. Sometimes easier said than done, as Solberg found out in 2004. Cutting corners is an essential but potentially hazardous tactic to use in Spain. Get it right and you can shave seconds off your time. Get it wrong and it could be game over. Francois Vival hit the edge of this corner too hard on day one last year and the resulting damage ended his rally. And newly crowned world champion Sebastian Loeb was also caught out through cutting. He would be forced to retire after damaging his sump on leg two. Another big difference for this season's rally, Catalonia, will be the absence of Spanish legend Carlos Sainz. Thousands of El Matador's fans normally turn out to cheer on their hero, but no doubt these passionate rally supporters will still be out in force. Carlos is a big miss to, to, the, to the championship, and especially on, uh, on his home event. But uh, this year, we've obviously there'll be uh, Danny Sordo, the D Danny Sola, so um, you know they're obviously young drivers who are making their way through the ranks. In its former home, the Costa Brava, this event has been a happy hunting ground for Mitsubishi Gilles Panizzi, winning in 2002 and 2003 when driving for Peugeot. And last year it was Marco Martin and the late Michael Park who memorably claimed their third win of the season here for Ford. So, who will win in 2005? Well, most would look no further than this man. Despite never winning in Catalonia, Sebastian Loeb is usually the man to beat on tarmac. I never feel I'm unbeatable. I, I always think uh, the others are dangerous and, and uh, I will have to fight. So, But uh, sure, um, we, we know that we have a, a good car, uh, we have some good, very good tyre on, on tarmac and uh, after the result in Germany we, we can hope to, to be fast in, uh, in Corsica and Catalonia also. So, as the teams prepare for the tarmac of Corsica and Spain, new world champion Sebastian Loeb could sit back and take a more relaxed approach but we doubt it. And if you can't wait until then, you can always keep up to date with all the latest news at wrc.com. But for now, goodbye.